I don't like the long campaign victory for this campaign, so I've come up with my own. Throughout the Skaven Slave Only campaign, there are several factions that have really pissed me off. Now, there's three of them that are part of the Empire. I'll just wrap that all up into the Empire. But then other than that, I'm more concerned about dealing with Throg from Norska and Azag from the Greenskins. I'm going to completely wipe out both of their factions. Very dwarven way of approaching a Skaven campaign, but we're going to make it work. As you can see here, we have a lot of enemies, but we also have a lot of armies. I have so much gold. My armies are not expensive. My total army upkeep is less than 1,000 gold per army, despite having a 24% increase to army upkeep. Uh, so I think I'll start building up one army over here. These guys have this on lock. There's three armies here. We've taken Winter Pyre. We're really just going to push into these settlements. I don't think we even need all three armies here. I might send one of them back. So once we have this whole, like, swath of the Empire locked down, I'll also destroy Azag because he's been very annoying. He declared war on me at a bad time. So for that, he will die as well. But, ooh, yeah. Okay, we're being besieged here. I forgot about this one. Will this be winnable? Oh, that is a shit stack. There's one problem with Necroparasites compared to Death Frenzy, and that is that they don't seem to get the highest tier of Augments randomly when they're recruited. I haven't seen any of them be recruited with Necroparasites already active. Ooh, actually, right in here, they shouldn't get too much Friendly Fire with that Warp Bomb. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. Maybe a handful of Friendly Fire, but that was a lot of kills. Would like to get into melee with all those archers, but they're not firing very effectively at all here. I don't know why they're doing such a shit job, to be honest. They're literally- wait, what? Oh no, those basic archers are beating these ones. Oh, these guys do have instability too, and not the best mutations. We're still not working with good units here, per se. I mean, they're what we have. <laughs> That's the best thing I can say about them, honestly. Uh, and we have enough of them to make it work. Uh, yeah, those guys got wiped out decently well. Didn't chase them down as much as I probably should have, but we didn't take much damage either. Oh, I didn't realize that reinforcing army was in Force March. That is very good. Hopefully... Oh, really not in our resolve? Okay, we do have terror on at least one of these guys. That's very good. I, I love the terror effects. Just enough of them embedded throughout the front line that effectively we have it on all of them. I don't think we have enough ammo to kill these guys. We definitely don't if they fight to the death. Oh, we have Death Frenzy on these slingers. Fine, we'll keep you in melee then. Wait, wait. They have plus 24 melee attack and they have 20 melee attack. They had negative 4 melee attack. Please go off the battlefield, please. Thank you, thank you. There we go. That's good. I don't necessarily know if I needed level 3 for anything, but it's... I guess it's a new region, so I may as well. Explosive instability, what the fuck is that? Uh, I'll literally use them as a bomb then. I feel like we're better off attacking that right away, because they are going to recruit a decent amount. <laughs> He's just slowly walking into him here. Broodhar, you are you alright there, bud? Okay, I'll just leave these guys be. I, I... Okay. Well, over here, the slaughter is going quite well. And their lord's dead. There we go. He can reach here in one turn. Take this, raise it, whatever. What the fuck is that? Really auto resolve? God damn it. It is not liking me in the small settlements, man. I can win this with less than like two, three hundred casualties. This is not bad. I will take this, just so I can have a little bit of a garrison, maybe if I get attacked by Azag. Yep, that is annoying. Yeah, I don't think that was winnable. Um, If we had one more turn of recruitment, it would have been fine, but we just didn't have enough units, honestly. If we had Warp Bomb to deal with those Berserkers, this would be easy peasy. As it is, though, I'm not sure. If they had any one unit less, even just one less unit of Marauders, we won that. So close. I think we took less damage than they did, though. It's going to be very close again. But I think they took, like, 10% more damage than we did. Um, unfortunately, our other army can't reinforce, but... Uh, if we just stay away from the Fimber Warriors and just kill everything else, that should be enough. This is also a small settlement battle because we have the walls. Okay, that's a guaranteed W then. Yeah, and they split up their forces too. That's a bad idea for them. Uh, all we need to do is concentrate our ranged units. Mm, actually, yeah, I'll start over here to kill their lord. And lord dead. Nice. Fuck. It's such an inefficient use of our missiles. I should not have been over here. I didn't realize the Fimur warriors were over there. 
not too bad. Uh, they should be wiped out from that, I believe. Actually, they're not wiped out, but they're basically wiped out. Uh, ah, god, they get a new lore just immediately, that's so annoying. And then over here, we're just gonna slowly grind them down. I think their lord will route soon. I don't want to risk my lord. He will be two-shot. There we go. Okay, oh! These guys got wiped out. Alright. Festus totally uh, wiped them out then. That's one less concern for me. Festus definitely has been a very useful ally for us. Because if we didn't have him, we would probably be getting swarmed from the south. You know, all of the different Empire factions would have declared war on us, really attacked us. Uh, Vlad too. Sylvania is being very helpful as well. We have a trade agreement with them, all of that. Ah, uh, these annoying little shits are gonna go up there, aren't they? Fucking hell. Well, I'm gonna have four armies there soon enough, so... Eh, they can do whatever the fuck they want. They no longer have the Wa army. Uh, no, I don't have the movement range for that. Okay, well, I'll just be waiting for this guy then. Uh, over here though, we can take this in one turn. Hopefully Azag's gonna come over to attack me, I'm gonna be able to take his other settlement behind him, leave him with no settlements, then trap him between two armies. Once again, it's a bit of a shame that I have to manually fight this, but I'll deal with it. But no, the sheer speed of the Brood Horrors is great for taking capture points. Because they move at like 100 plus speed on land. 95 is the baseline, but they're really easy to get buffs onto. And we got it. Boring, but it was what was necessary. You know, I, I don't usually cheese like that. This is like the third time I fought an identical orc garrison. With pretty much an identical army on my side, so. Uh, yeah, they only have... Is that their only settlement now? Yes, that is their only settlement now. Ah, we're no longer in ambush stance. Now, obviously, I don't want to fight this. But if I back off here, I'm hoping I'll be... Yeah, I should be in reinforcement range of that garrison for sure. Okay, he's not attacking again. Yeah. Fuck. Ooh, warp bomb. I don't need to win this fight. I can completely back off here. No issue whatsoever. The problem is that he'll chase me down and fight me again. And I don't think I'll have reinforcements. So I would rather risk losing this once and then winning it the second time than only having one singular battle. Our leadership is so low that sometimes you need that second try. Yeah, and then back here, you're just going to come out and shoot those crossbows in the back. Come on, take just a tiny bit more damage. There we go. Oh, oh, it still went off. It still went off. Okay, there we go. Two units of spearmen mostly dead. One unit of crossbows wiped out. Not bad. I do expect to lose this at this point. I don't think it's possible to win. I think I can do a lot more damage to him. Valiant defeat. Not too bad. We might have lost several units, but they're worthless. And they lost quite a few units across the one as well. They have virtually no ranged firepower whatsoever now. They are really hurting there. And we will have another warp bomb if they attack us again. Which they're gonna do. Alright, we'll be able to take out, like, the rest of their infantry. <laughs> with one more warp bomb. God, we have, like, no infantry, though. That is that is a problem. Um, That would be sacrificing a lot, but I think it's worth it. Yeah, that was worth it. That was really worth it. That was basically two full units. Only a couple kills on those crossbows. I'll let them keep shooting me. That's fine. They should get the army losses. I think they're going to get it very soon here. There it is. Minus 55. Beautiful. Yep, we have no more infantry, but they have no more anything, so I'll take that. And yeah, he's coming over. A little too late there, bud. Should have planned that a little better. Um, although I don't think he could have really reinforced regardless. Uh, over here, though, this is what I was hoping would happen, and I was also hoping that I would be able to auto-resolve win it, but I cannot, alas. And now they're all tied down, it's just a matter of time. This is why I went for so many melee Skaven slaves. They simply win against low-tier archers. I mean, that's not much, but it's something. It's like leveling up just thousands and thousands of really shitty Pokemon. You know, you gotta start with the easy enemies. After killing a whole lot of archers, they might be able to kill goblins, if they're lucky. Even that, it's a bit of a stretch. With the mutations, still a bit of a stretch. But they might be able to do it, sometimes. Some of them, if the goblins are debuffed, and they're buffed. And they also get lucky. And the sun is in the goblin's eyes. You're at zero units. Okay, there we go. Army losses. <laughs> this might even be an auto-resolve, but I doubt it. That is that is a genuine auto-resolve right there. And we lose three units that are already basically dead and also have instability. So great. 
hopefully we'll ambush them. If we don't, that's also completely fine. Doesn't matter too much. Okay, we didn't ambush them, that's fine. As I said two seconds ago, but I'm already starting to question the validity of. Good, we're just tying them all down, forcing them into melee when they don't want to be in melee, and avoiding them when they do want to be in melee. The swordsmen for a few seconds, those great swords are still fighting, but oh god. That's a lot of kills on those great swords. And yeah, there we go. They're all wavering. That's the army losses right there. We lost a third of our forces. They lost two thirds of their forces. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, really just surrounding units is very important when you're dealing with slow enemies like this. Okay, mostly wiped out there. All except for the lord and hero. Um, but with those guys, is that a victory auto-resolve? That is a decisive victory auto-resolve once we can get into here, which will be one turn. We're simultaneously winning about six wars right now. I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty damn good. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. Okay. Really can't auto-resolve that. Damn. But yeah, we have a whole garrison to just throw in their face so we don't take any real damage here. Oh, God. Ah, oh, the terrain. Ah, I hate hills. Where, where can you even come in, guys? Nowhere? Oh, over there with five minutes. Okay, I don't think that's the best idea. I might just fill up this entire pass with Skaven Slaves. It's so dumb, but I don't believe they have Foot of Gork. Uh, do you have Foot of Gork? You don't. You do have Br Oh, fuck, you do. You do. You do have Foot of Gork. Okay, well then I'll just snipe you immediately. Okay, what I'll do is I'll toss that there, and then I'll have you snipe him. Good that they left him back here. And Brain Burst is also very dangerous. Oh, he's mounted, though. Can we catch him? Oh, no, you're dying, bud. I can't let you live with Foot of Gork. Okay, ah, fuck. Down here, though. Things are getting interesting. And by interesting, I always mean bad. Just just do that. I don't care, man. I don't care if any of you live or die. You're garrison units. And here we do have Death Frenzy upgraded. And actually, we can just hit all of these guys with it, more or less. Yeah, a bit less than more, but still. Yeah, 123 speed I think is too much to actually coordinate melee attacks properly. <laughs> He's just running through him. They're slowly pushing us down the hill, but they're also dying quite quickly. Yeah, I'll go for one last use of Death Frenzy. It's hard to calculate the exact value of it when it's hitting this many units, but I'm just going to assume that it's enough. I mean, it should be. It's hitting so many models who are fighting. It's not about the units it's hitting, it's about the models, and there's a lot of models fighting right there. Uh, it didn't kill Azag, actually. Barely did any damage to him. But we stopped his army. There we go. And that should be it for Azag. He just has one small settlement left. Oh, and he's going back there too. Nice. <laughs> None of these guys have armies anymore. None of my enemies. There does seem to be an inverse relationship to being my enemy and having armies. And yeah, we actually got a turn of recovery there, so not bad. Odd result, Azag is dead, and soon his faction will be as well. Bada bing. Can we auto resolve that? We can. Awesome. Faction destroyed Bone Rattlers. They were a real bone in our side. That's that's not even moderately funny. <laughs> I'm trying my best here. Couldn't think of anything. Ah, as I was hoping he would, he is pushing out there. Uh, obviously I'm not gonna fight this. This is not winnable. But I think I will get reinforced by the garrison back here. Yeah, I should. We're really close to the altar of spawns. Oh, and he's not even re-attacking me. Okay, so in that case, I can just take the settlement from behind him. Uh, over here. Oh, they are attacking this. And I can auto-resolve it. So I will. A little bit of gold. Fine. Great. Oh, shit. Why did they sally out there? I win that with only one unit lost. Holy shit, and they're completely gone now. If I manually fought that, I wouldn't have been able to chase them all down, so it would have just been worse. Um, and I also don't even know if I would have won it that decisively in a real fight. That's that's pretty favorable. I have been getting a few favorable auto resolves, but I've also been getting some really, really unfavorable ones. Uh wait, all armies? Hold the fuck up. 20 turns. 10 melee attack, all units, all armies, for minus 1 loyalty? Are you shitting me? That is insane. I lose nothing. Oh my god, that's good. That was, that was very good. That was one of the best end turns I could have possibly hoped for. 
Uh, could attack that, not gonna attack that, probably couldn't win that. But what I can do is, this guy is a siege attacker, so I can just take this in one turn. There's not a very good garrison here. I mean, it's decent. Like, the ideal scenario is that I bait their entire army into trying to chase me through one of these small areas. I can use all of my slingers at once and just clog it up with Skaven Slaves and stop them from moving. Can I get the AI to do that? Probably not. So I'm gonna try to hedge my bets by having my lord take as many control points as possible for relatively free. Okay, they are falling for it. Um, half health, they'll probably take that extra 20% damage while it's being used. You can see the models are coming back here. Yeah, they're just, they're respawning. They're literally respawning. It's hard to see until you're uh, paying attention to it, but a few of them, like right here and here, they're just getting back up. I'll use it on these guys as well. Their heal cap is a little lower. That's probably because they started partially hurt. Over here, we're just going to be taking these small control points first. Uh, yeah, we are pretty effectively hitting them with that cross angle. Oh my god, that balance of power really is improving. I I genuinely am surprised this is working so well. I probably could have done this at two separate points, but I don't know if they would have been funneled in as effectively. They just keep charging me. They just keep sending their units to die. Oh, they're very tired. They've just been running around the settlement the whole time. So these guys are just very tired from that. They haven't actually been doing anything of value. Oh, and they're terrified. Or is that the army losses? That's the army losses. Okay. Part of me wants to sack that, but I don't think I should. I'm just going to take it. And Throg has no real options here. I have, I have two compules. They have the exact same name. Okay, that's why I was getting confused earlier. <laughs> Oh, and there's another compule. There's a hero compule. Okay, so I have hero compule, lord compule, other lord compule. Do I have any more? I, I'm aware of three. Uh, yeah, just three. Just three compules. I think they might need a few more names for the Skaven Lords. Oh, and then there's also good Vermich. There's good Vermich. And then there's bad Vermich. Bad Vermich rebelled. Good Vermich didn't. <laughs> uh, I should be... Are you fucking kidding me? What is that? What? 27 melee attack on those fucking storm vermin. They're terrible against infantry. Why are they doing so well there? I mean, this guy's good, obviously. He's good. But he's not that fucking good. I've really lost two units there in this army because of that. I didn't even think to check. I'm not concerned about wiping them out. They haven't really annoyed me that much. They declared on war on me recently. I don't feel like I have a grudge. I'll just go for that. That's fine. Oh yeah, he's not winning that. Especially because we can reinforce with that second full army now, so... He will get rolled there in auto-resolve. Or he'll fight it immediately and still get rolled in auto-resolve without even that second army. Whole garrison destroyed. I do not care. <laughs> Fuck that garrison. I don't need that shit. Um, over here, uh, yeah, we're just gonna back off. And then we'll come back in another turn with a reinforcing army. Easy peasy. Wintertooth is gone. And we do have the, yeah, the weapon strength. We're gonna fucking eat them. Wanna play a little back. Oh! <laughs> oh shit! Oh no! Oh, one of my units just exploded there. And it also killed a bunch of this unit too. That's not great. That's just too good. That's just too good right there. Yeah, that's a quarter health off three units, so. There we go. That is pretty nice. That is a good chunk of damage on him. Yeah, got him down to pretty much half health. And we're all firing. We're all firing good. Assume we get another one of those. Not looking bad here. That balance of power is improving. We have all of them just trapped into melee. Ooh, that's a nice one. That should be enough to break them. Yep, that was enough to get the army losses. Uh, pretty good. I probably should have run them down, actually, in retrospect, but I did enough damage that I don't think I needed to. Yeah, they're down to less than 500 troops, so... Most of this damage, like one and a half uh, units worth of this damage, is literally from our own unit exploding. If that's about half of the damage we took overall, I count that as a win. Really not bad. Wiped out a lot of them. Get a little bit of replenishment. And, uh, underway interception, fine, auto-resolve, whatever. Uh, now we can auto-resolve this. Good, and Nordland is gone. They are dead. And that is all of the factions that I wanted to destroy. They're all dead. 
The next campaign is going to be the Troll Campaign. I'm going to be playing the green skin, specifically Grom the Paunch. Why, you ask, for a troll only campaign am I playing Grom the Paunch? He's not even a troll. Well, that's for two reasons. One, the green skins have three different types of trolls. Trolls, river trolls, and stone trolls. And more importantly, I can change the buffs that the trolls get by brewing different recipes. So that will actually allow me to change my playstyle substantially. Uh, it's not going to get stale because of that. There's an additional layer there. Still though, it will get stale eventually. So with all of those things combined, I'll probably only go for the short campaign victory there. Um, but that'll be a very fun campaign. It'll probably be a shorter one, maybe three episodes. Uh, but yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching. Peace out.